well, immigration uh, advocates say raids are up in some New York neighborhoods, and it has left some families fearful that they may be next. Yeah, deportations of New York City's undocumented immigrants have soared, according to a new investigation. I want to see reporter N.J. Burke is live in Flushing with the story. N.J. And right, Liz, overall deportations are up, and so-called non-criminal deportations are way up. Well, today, the city controller says the Trump administration is targeting New York, and the proof, he says, is in the numbers. In some of the city's largest ethnic enclaves, thousands of New Yorkers are living in fear. So terrified of deportation, they're afraid to leave their homes. That, according to New York City controller Scott Stringer. And they're being forced into the shadows, afraid to go to work, to seek medical care, to drop their kids off at school. Today, we want to bring their voices to you. Stringer claims New York City has been the focus of intensified efforts to deport undocumented workers in far greater numbers than many other American cities. A study looked at data for the past two years and found that overall deportations in New York City are up by 150 percent, and those deported without a criminal conviction are up 265 percent. Of all nationalities, Chinese immigrants have the largest number of immigration in court cases. Chinese immigrants make up 20% of the caseload, and half the city's immigration cases originate in Queens. This woman from East Harlem said her own mother is facing deportation. Where, where is the humanity? These are mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, families being broken apart. Life has not given them a break. Stringer says New York should expand legal services to undocumented immigrants and should work to discourage what he believes are unwarranted deportations. We need to get ICE the hell out of this city. Because in a place like New York, going after immigrants is going after the heart of our city. Well, spokeswoman for Immigration and Customs Enforcement declined to comment on the report. However, the agency has insisted in the past that deportations are making America's cities safer.